Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Box. Tracy here and uh, I'm sorry first off that this is a little bit a little bit late and also that my winner's video didn't get done yesterday. But I um, suddenly got hit by um, a really, 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 really nasty... Um, well, I was not very well. <laughs> so uh, I woke up last about five in the morning wasn't wasn't nice so uh had really bad stomach pains and um kind of gripping stomach pains so i think something i ate disagreed with me never mind it's uh, <clears throat> hopefully all over now fingers crossed <clears throat> anyway remember when remember when is remember when uh, taking drugs meant a chewable, flavoured <laughs> orange aspirin. I had those. <laughs> Haven't had that for a while, have we? Thought I'd just, like, bring it out of mothballs. But, yeah, I do remember those. <clears throat> I used to like them. And now they do ones where you can dissolve it in water. Um, Gary loves those. He really does. Pictures the same as yesterday because of weekend, weekend, weekend. So today, um, I'm going to have to do the winners and the giveaway in one day. Um, it just dawned on me, kind of really late last night. Oh my God, I haven't filmed. <laughs> I just I didn't really feel um, up to it. So yeah, I was a little bit really, really tired as well and out of it. <clears throat> anyway. I'm sure I don't want to hear any more about that. But in the morning, I think I did a little of my my crochet. But after that, we had um, company. Gary's brother came and they they did some crazy sort of cake cooking. It, uh, only for Mel. And um, after that, um, after that, that was it really. Um, I did get um, a nice birthday present from Michael, uh, which was lovely. I haven't got it to show you. I was going to put it on, but I just had my shower. So uh, I haven't done that yet. But I did get a nice necklace from Pandora from him. It's a little little bit late, but I knew we were going to um, do it a bit later anyway. So, yeah, it's only just. I have a month after all. And it's only just finished my birthday month. So, uh, yep. I'm starving actually. I'm hoping that Gary is out there rattling those pots and pans and um, going to be doing a nice breakfast this morning. Um, I feel like I can chance it. I was really, I felt really quite queasy in the night. <clears throat> so, uh, but that's past, thank goodness. No more nausea. Anyway, um, not much else really to tell you. Only I saw a little Tyler yesterday. Um, obviously he was with Michael and Michael gave me like my present and Tyler is just, uh, he's just so loving, you know, he kind of, um, it gives you a big cuddle and it gets, it gets your neck and it, when you, when he goes to sleep as well, he gets, gets you by the neck and you can't move, but <laughs> he'll kill you with kindness. No, he's, he's not, obviously he don't grip, but you know. He is he's a very cosy child, bless him. Um, and you know when you see them, I shall, I shall see Harley next week, well, Mother's Day. So um, when you see them, you suddenly think, whoa, hang on, they're doing all this now. Didn't do that before, didn't do that before. And, you know, they change in the blink of an eye because, you know, they get older. And Harley is ten months older than Tyler and... Uh, so I'm hoping that Tyler's cuddliness doesn't disappear. It shouldn't do. His, his dad's didn't. His dad himself was the cuddliest uh, child for the longest time, which I liked, <laughs> to say the least. You know, when other kids like, don't don't touch me in front of my friends, you know. But he wasn't like that. Thank goodness. I could slobber on him if I wanted to. Not that I did in, you know. But I could have. Oh, I'm so hungry I'm going to rumble. I was like that yesterday. So it's really strange that I was, you know, I felt ill. Because I don't really eat much. 
And I feel like some of the little chicken pieces I had perhaps were dodgy. I'm going to sneeze and it's gone. You know when you get that, oh, I'm tickling and it's a, a bit of a tickle with a, with a stabby feeling. That's what I had. It just washed over me. It's strange. Strange. Normally it erupts into a humongous blast. But <clears throat> so I've had lots of positive feedback for my tutorial. Um, I would have done some over Christmas, you know. Had I not had all that kerfuffle before Christmas, like two-week training calls, being ill, that was of course from hospitals and stuff, and, you know, that was just put paid to that. So all I did was a scrunchie. But I was going to do so much, and, um, yeah, they, they kind of don't take that long for me. I've got a bit of a, a formula now. <laughs> well, they, even the biggest things didn't take that long for me because I've kind of got a bit of a... A bit of a formula, a bit of a formula going, but I um I will do the round one soon. Gary um is off today, back at work tomorrow, so I'm hoping it'll give me opportunity to galvanise the writing down of the the pattern. Not that I write it properly, just in my scribble, so that I've got it set in my head for when I do the tutorial for my new round blanket, which lays flat and even. It does flat and even. Okay, yeah, I've missed doing the tutorials as well, to be honest with you. But after Christmas, after all that kerfuffle was over, I've got itchy nose, sorry, I, I lost my crojo. It wasn't so much that I couldn't bring myself to crochet anything. I would do bits of blanket while I was doing a live stream when I did them. But um, as far as kind of creativity and wanting to do stuff and share it with you, you know, being good enough to um, to maybe share. Um, you know, I didn't have it. I just didn't... The crojo disappeared in that respect. And it's back. It's back. But, um, yeah, just trying to figure out as well a couple of baby blankets to make for Gary's daughter. Uh, at least I know the colour, right? <laughs> so I can get stuck into that but there's a few other things I never did do the hat did I did the mittens and the booties of that never did the hat so I've got that to do oh what chemo beanie still not received yet so I don't know um if my sizing is correct cheers I guess you know all heads are different sizes anyway aren't they oh yummy it's even better because Gary made it, you know. It's so much nicer, isn't it, when someone else makes your makes your tea. Now, those joke books have been sitting down there. Well, I mean, it's got to be about a year now, isn't it, since I received those. But we've still got this much left of the book. And that's actually um, quite a long time. But as these are not, strictly speaking, jokes, these are remember whens. What's the next section? You know your old when. So they might get a little funnier, mightn't they? These are more nostalgia trips. So I was thinking of getting the old joke book out and doing one as well. I don't know. But if you get if you get sad for a joke, um, you know, that they're, you're missing them um, while I'm doing this, then over on Rocksteady, I've resurrected Eat My Shorts and I do one every day, like a little joke of the day. They are really popular. Yeah, I just need to make more other content for Rocksteady and maybe do some live streaming again like I was. And I always enjoy it and say, I'm going to do this more regularly. And then all of a sudden, I haven't done it for a while. What goes on in my head? I don't know. Too much stuff. Too much to do. I've been uploading new products. Um, I have these to upload and uh, other things. So, um, yeah, got new products being up, uploaded i haven't done it all but um i wasn't i wasn't well enough yesterday so uh, i will do the rest <clears throat> in the next few days hopefully <clears throat> but you haven't even really seen it yet have you because i don't know when that video pops up i've got a bit um i'll have to check it i'll have to check it did you check it don't um sorry that's just a, a strange voice that lives within and pops out 
for that phrase only. I don't know why, but it does. I think I must have heard it on, um, not French and Saunders, Victoria Wood, uh, when she did that show with that other Julie Waters was on it sometimes, I think. And she was like the old, old cleaning woman and stuff. Two soups, that lady, I think. And she did this thing and she went, did you check it? Did you check it? And it kind of stuck in my mind. Sometimes I sound like a, you know, I used to do impressions quite a lot as a child. I could get them really, 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 really good. I was always, you know, the clown at school that did all that. Yep. And I could do all the teachers that they didn't like it, but I could just have them in hysterics. Not the teachers, the kids. <clears throat> yeah, I was that child, you know, the one, the one that had far too much energy in their brain. That was me. I don't know where it's gone. Seriously, <laughs> I just don't know where it's gone. <laughs> it certainly hasn't grown up, that's for sure. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> nice cup of biscuit tea. Do you know, I don't think I'd like tea again if it wasn't for biscuit tea. Because when I have a normal tea, I'll drink it and I think, oh, it's okay. But it lacks, you know, it really does. But since I've been drinking that, it has brought tea to a whole new level for me. When I gave up milk many, many years ago, somehow, although I really enjoyed the tea, I didn't crave the tea like I used to. You know, it wasn't like, you know, there was just instant relief when you take your first gulp of tea and you just sort of go, oh. and I thought surely milk can't make that much difference. But I cannot bear milk in my tea now. It's if anybody accidentally puts it in, it just tastes like they've dumped a pile of fat into my tea. It, absolutely disgusting. But funnily enough. I don't get that, sometimes I get a little, oh, I needed that. But um, I don't really get that same massive satisfaction that I used to get <laughs> when I take my tea, which is very, very strange. So it wasn't sugar, I didn't take sugar, but I did take milk. And I don't know why that should be, because milk is not one of those things that you get kind of addicted to and got to go, ah. But it's just a combination. I don't know if the way it was creamy at the same time, don't know. I, all I know is I can't stand that now. Got a blow. I'll be right back with you. That's better. I can breathe again. It's always a bonus when you can breathe. Gary is going to make some shelves for me today in the bedroom. But we have a little problem and that is that because we live in a wonky house, sometimes things are not straight. And the gap that he's got to put them in um, isn't, isn't straight. So to get them to look straight, they may have to be tight, sort of wonky-ish. But if they're wonky, then things that might be round roll. So, yeah, we, we, it might look okay if we go as high to the top um, and disguise it. But <laughs> we don't know. It's going to be a challenge. But that, And I've got loads of stuff to move because that side of the room... Um, I've got, you know, those beauty boxes that I got for Christmas. Do you remember? And they were empty and you had the little lid that popped up. They're all full now. And so are my drawers for the uh, Charlotte Tilbury box. That's next to it. And that's all full up with stuff. And then I've got another one, like a little shelf tidy. Like you could put pens in it if you wanted, or you could put brushes and stuff like that. So I've got that one and they're all in a line, you know, all in a line with certain products in and, and this, that and the other. And now I've got them find somewhere to put them and I've got another little cupboard that is full of perfumes but they're loose you know they're not just in boxes or anything like that they're all just sitting there on the countertop and I've got to somehow find a somewhere to put all of that stuff where it's safe and out of the way and probably I will have to stack them all in here so that means I've got to do the job first you know <laughs> get all those things done before this room becomes um where we put stuff while we're waiting for the shelves to go up but i kind of got some tall um bottles of ornamental things and a, and a big vase that i fill with um fairy lights because it's one of those hurricane hurricane jars if you know what i mean but it oh show it to you actually it's right done it, it holds my spider killer at the moment 
Look, it probably needs a bit of a, a clean, but this is it. And it's because it's really, it's nice. It, I had the little candelabra thing that went with it. Got it from a company called Princess House. And then you can see, you can see the plug for my lights. I could suppose put some battery operated ones in and that would be better. But yeah, I want to put this somewhere because there's nowhere. None of the windowsills now can put it because A, the only ones that are wide enough have blinds up and this would get in the way. But um, I don't want to break it. And you could put like a big candle in it. That's what I used to put in, like a big, big candle. But it's living under there at the moment because I have nowhere to put it and I don't want it to get broken. And sometimes, oops, hang on, my foot got stuck. That's weird. <laughs> That's never happened before. <clears throat> I think I moved my chair and sandwiched my own slipper. So anyway, as I was going to say, um, what was I going to say? I kind of broke in the middle and now I'm bereft of the rest of it. Um, no, gone, isn't it? Just gone. Yeah, I used to have a lot more places to put stuff like that. Window seals and shelving and in my bedroom before I had um one of those built in wardrobes that were either side of your bed. So we put like corner shelves in and I had things like that, um, vases and the like on there and, and you know, just little bits and little knickknacks like that. Oh that's what I was gonna say, wasn't it? Um that one, when I get a massive bunch of flowers I've used it as a vase because it can be a vase or you can put a candle in it either. But it looks lovely with a humongous bunch. But um, yeah, I'd I like I like to have lights in it. I like the way they shine through it. But yeah, I like that. And I've got the um, votive holders, and I've got some votive holders holders that were on a a zigzag kind of frame as well. But when I find the frame, I can't find the votive holders. But when I find the votive holders, I don't know where the frame is and that sort of thing. And it's been going on since I unpacked a lot of my stuff, to be honest, from my last house. They were they were mine, so I took them with me because yeah, I got I bought those. Cheers. Going to have another slurp. But it is nice. I know um, it used to be I had um, a townhouse. So on the middle floor, then you had the other roof, the other bedrooms were in the roof space. Like, pretty it was, anyway, but they're dormers. So on the hallway, and you had a winding stair that went up centre. And um, so on the first landing, where the two bedrooms were and the bathroom, there was a landing window with a lovely big window ledge, and I used to put that in the centre, um, because it was perfect for that spot. And then, you know, the ones upstairs, they were, they were just two big windows again. Yeah, but it was it was a pretty house and it was I had lots of places to put stuff like that. But I don't have anywhere to put put stuff now. Like I said, the, we only had one wide enough window sill and that was in the living room. But, the you know, we need the blind to come down. when, we, Like today, the sun is shining. Can you believe it? I can't. We've had so much rain, it feels... The, the, the road up the top, honestly, when it rains badly, we get a couple of big puddles. Well, we've got four gigantic lakes to kind of drive through. But the, the problem being, the more mud that gets washed away out of them, the deeper those ruts and the more it scrapes the bottom of my car. So that's, you know, and you can't see the best road, the best route to take over these bumps because it's just one big puddle, which is muddy and you can't see through it. So um, yeah, we've got we've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> we need it to go. But unfortunately, because there's quite high shrubbery up there, it gets sheltered from any sunshine. So the sun doesn't dry it out easily. You need a really long dry spell to get rid of the whole of that. And then you can see what, what you're left with to kind of smooth out and break up although that's going to be a major major job for somebody or nobody and we just all have to have jeeps i think that's probably the best car to have around here if you've got some kind of jeep or range rover but you know i think i might have to start entering competitions to win one they're so expensive now honestly new cars are ridiculous oh i slept then <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I can't believe I'm remembering where these buttons are. It's been so long since I used it. So anyway, I heard, ordered some more of my spider killer. Absolutely. It's that time of year when they're going to start rearing their ugly little legs. So um, I had a couple in here, so I've been spraying. Next time I come in, I had a dead one, which I dodged because you spray where they've been and they go because they return. And then they get it. They get it, man. I'm sorry if you like spiders, but I absolutely have a phobia. Um, Gary took one out the other week. I was like, oh, come back. You know, what are you doing? But, you know, hopefully it won't. But, yeah, he, he grabbed it and he let it go outside. And I, I applaud people that can do that. But, you know, what? it's not me. If I ever see one, I've got to spray it. Or you know, spray around it and spray it. If I can't get to it, that is. I, I can't be in the house with it. It's just <laughs> not something I can manage. Anyway, enough of those. But it's made me on my guard every time I go in a room, though. That's the trouble. It may, I look everywhere to see. Gary says, why do you always find them? You're always looking for them. And I went, I have to. Because otherwise it's there and I don't know about it and it's lurking. And it's me it'll come after. Because it's always the person that doesn't like it that gets it kind of dangle in front of them or you know, leap out at you when you least expect it. I know they don't leap. I know. It just feels like they do, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to get off and upload this. Go get some breakfast because I am absolutely rumbling. And, um, yeah, and I probably, uh, hopefully, will be feeling a lot better today. So I'll watch out then for my winners and my giveaway a bit later on. As in, uh, if I get chance to make it in between all the kerfuffle so uh, my orders went off yesterday if you're waiting for anything from me it went off yesterday you should get it very soon um other than that keep keep watching keep liking and thumbing and if you're not already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell i'll see you on the next one bye for now guys